All right, folks, it's political crunch time. It's time to get down and dirty and do what we have to do to make America a safer, healthier place. And the first step towards that is eliminating the GOP. Not just preventing Trump from getting in the White House. I think at this point, there's almost no way he can get into the White House. I think it's almost guaranteed at the moment that Clinton's going to win. But that doesn't mean Democrats can stay home and think, ah, I'm good, because that's how Trump gets in the White House. Every Democrat in this nation that's registered needs to go out and needs to vote. A straight Democratic ticket. Now is not the time for third party voting. Now is not the time for protest votes. Now is not the time to write in Bernie Sanders' name. Now is not the time to beg off voting saying, it doesn't matter, they're all the same, because that's bullshit. If you've got more than one functioning brain cell, you know that the Republicans and the Democrats are not the same. Are they both corrupt? Yes. But there's a really big difference. Comparing Clinton and Trump is like comparing your average Girl Scout to Hannibal Lecter. One is far more dangerous than the other. Not to mention, one has cookies. Clinton is a crappy candidate. I'm all for voting for a woman, but I definitely didn't want it to be Hillary Clinton. I wanted a Sanders-Warren ticket or a Warren-Sanders ticket. But I didn't get what I wanted. I got Clinton. So, I'm going to vote Clinton. I'm not electing a messiah here. I'm electing a president. And I do elect one that isn't a sexual predator. A boastful sexual predator. One that isn't a misogynist, a racist, a bigot, or a xenophobe. I need a president that is none of those things. And of the two options I've got at the moment, Clinton is the one that isn't those things. But it's not just about the presidency here. We need to vote for Democratic governors. We need to vote for Democratic members of Congress. We need to make sure we vote for Democratic members of our state houses of representation. All the way down, we need to make sure we vote for Democrats. Because the first step towards changing America is getting the, the friggin' pseudo-fascists, the proto-fascists, out of office. And once we're just left with the center-right conservatives, which is what the Democrats are, then we can start moving towards the left, which is where we need to go. But you need to go out and vote. And you need to go out and vote Democrat. Yes, you're going to say, oh, it's partisan politics, and you are darn right it is. The Republican Party is a terrorist organization, and they have declared war on America. Onto the middle class, onto the poor, onto the environment, onto workers, onto consumers, onto women, onto minority groups, the LGBT community, Muslims, any non-Christian group. Their socially conservative agenda is toxic. It is a communicable mental illness. And we need to stop it dead in its tracks. We need to blow the conservative religious twisted union apart and separate church and state for good. Not just words on the page, but in reality and in action. People have to understand that their religious beliefs are just that, theirs. And they are not to be imposed upon the world around them through the secular political process. This is not a sectarian government. We cannot have uh, Christian Sharia law imposed across the land. We cannot have other people deciding what a woman can do with her body. Other people deciding if a Muslim can immigrate here and become a citizen. 
other people deciding whether trans people have the right to use a bathroom in public. Or their gay people can be fired from their jobs or prevented from buying a friggin' cake. All of these things are on the line. Heck, Proposition 60 in California is a socially conservative effort to harass porn stars with the facade of sexual safety. It is so twisted, it is mind-numbing. It's, it's, it's Orwellian doublespeak. Just the way every organization the conservatives have the word family in is anti-family. Because they define family as Christian white people. The Republican Party doesn't even consider women, racial minorities, gay people, trans people, or non-Christians to be, be, be people. They consider them non-entities, possibly tools to be used, just like poor white Americans, tools to be used, and then ignored or ground into the earth so they can be fed to their corporate masters. I know you're going to tell me I'm, pull, I'm towing the party line. Well, then so be it. I'm towing the party line. I didn't start this war, but we can finish it. We can end the GOP, and we do it by voting Democrat. Right down the bloody ticket. No libertarians in office. No Tea Parties in office. No Republicans in office. We take them all out. And we do it with our vote. I'm not going to tell you that the Second Amendment people can take care of it and threaten violence. I want the 19th Amendment people to do it. I want the Civil Rights Act people to do it. I want the wise white Americans to do it. I want the smart men to do it. I want us to win. I want us to have a brighter, progressive future. Because the Republican Party isn't about progress. They're about regression. And I, for one, think I'm going to do everything that I can, I can to stop them.